بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Oh Allah help us learn what is beneficial to us help us benefit from what you have enabled us to learn and increase our knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to Quranic Arabic course from Al Quran Institute London Alhamdulillah we have studied lesson 31 earlier and we have learnt about morphology structure of present or future tense verb or fi'il mudari. Today we shall learn about amor formation for imperfect verb, inshallah. Before we start, one humble request to you. Al Quran Institute is a Quranic dawah and educational institute. We would like to reach many others like you. So your assistance is greatly appreciated. If you benefit from our videos, Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Jazakallahu khairan. So let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. According to Arabic grammarians, Arabic verbs can have three tenses. Number one, madi, perfect tense for past tense verbs. Number two, mudario, imperfect tense for present and future tense verb. Number three, amar hadir maruf, imperative verb, fele amor. It is used to make order, command, request, etc. We need to know to whom the order or command or request is made through imperative verb. Please pay attention. You can only order someone who is in front of you, who is present. And that means it's second person. Someone who is hazir, you can order or make request to that person. Someone who is absent, not here, you cannot order, you cannot request anything to someone who is not present. Naturally, these six pronouns or damir who the imperative verb is addressed to. So this second person hadir pronouns are anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. You singular male, you dual male, you all male, you singular female, you dual female, and you all female. The amor formation rules vary according to singular, dual, and plural masculine and plural verbs. But to start with, in this chapter, we shall only learn amor formation for singular verbs as this is most common. Before we move further, it's very important that you know this very basic thing. Fa'ala. All the root verbs follow the pattern of fa'ala. For example, fataha, kafara, ghafara, qatala, like that. So for example, Let's say we have fataha. We need to identify the fa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima in every root verbs. So in fataha, fa is fa kalima, ta is ain kalima, and ha is lam kalima. If the verb is qatala, qa is fa kalima, ta is ain kalima, la is lam kalima. If the verb is ja'ala, then ja is fa kalima, a is ain kalima, la is lam kalima. If it is samia, then sa is fa kalima, mim is ain kalima, ain is lam kalima. So I hope you get the understanding. Next important thing you need to know is amor formation is made on second person hazir verbs. And it starts from mudariu. And let me explain what that means. Because we will be making the request or command, it has to be like, do it. I'm telling somebody, do it. So somebody who is in front of me. Please think about the dummy chart. Fataha verb is broken down into 14 conjugation here. Fataha yaftahu. So from yaftahu, we are going downward. And we are looking for the second person gaib verbs in order to make amor formation. So let's go through the chart. Yaftahu, yaftahane, yaftahuna, 
Taftahu, taftahane, yaftahna. This is where second person starts. This is where the command, order, request will be addressed to. So, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. Corresponding verb for these are taftahu, taftahane, taftahuna. Taftahina, taftahane, taftahna. Amor needs to be formed with these six verbs. And I'll show you how to make it. We shall be forming Amor from Taftahu. So the first rule is drop the Alamote Mudari. As you remember, all the prefixes for Fele Mudari are identified by the four characters and they are A, Ta, Ia, Na, A, Taina. So Taftahu, Ta is the Alamote Mudariu, a Mudariu verb. To make Amor, this Alamote Mudari needs to be deleted. So when the ta is removed from taftahu, now we have got in step one, fa with sukun, ta with fata, and hu with dhamma. But a word cannot start with a letter with sukun. So this needs to be sorted. We have to add an alif, and that is hamzatul wasl. So in step two, we got alif, hamzatul wasl. Everything else remains same in step two. Only thing we added is brought Alif to make the sentence start reading. We have to do something else to make it work. Because Alif doesn't have any haraka there. It doesn't have fata, it doesn't have kasra, it doesn't have dhamma. Without that, obviously the word is not correct. So we have to find a haraka. And there is a rule for which haraka will come with the alif. And the rule is this. If you look at the text here, it says, if Ain Kalima has a Fata or Kasra, then Alif will take Kasra. If Ain Kalima has a Dhamma, then Alif will have Dhamma. So we have to now look at what is Ain Kalima. The original word is Fata Ha. So Fa is Fa Kalima, Ta is Ain Kalima, Ha is Lam Kalima. So our rule says, if the Ain Kalima has got Fata or Kasra, then Alif will have Kasra. If the Ain Kalima has got Dhamma, then Alif will have Dhamma. So for formation of Amor, we can have only Kasra on Alif or Dhamma on Alif. We cannot have Fata on the Hamzatul Wasl. Ain Kalima Ta has got Fata, therefore Alif will have a Kasra here. So now on step 3, we have got Iftahu. Let's look at the final step, step 4. Our rule says Lam Kalima must have a sukun, taftahu. But according to our rule, lam kalima will have sukun. We have omitted the dhamma and it has become ha with sukun. So the word is now called iftah. So the meaning now stands like this. Fataha means he opened. Taftahu means you open or you will open. But when it is finally formed amor, it means open. Iftah means open. You open. It's an order, it's a request, it's a command. Iftah. So Amor normally looks like that. In this chapter, we have explained four rules for Amor formation. Number one rule. Drop the alamote mudariu. A, ta, ya, na. Number two. If fa kalima has a sukun, then add an alif or hamzatul wasl. But Alif will need a kasra or a dhamma. Number three, if Ain Kalima has a fata or kasra, then Alif will take kasra. If Ain Kalima has a dhamma, then Alif will take a dhamma. Number four, on Lam Kalima, for singular verbs, always must zoom. It means there will be a sukun at the end. I would request you to go through the video and practice it. Also, Keep writing it on paper. Alhamdulillah, we have reached the end of this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. Please repeat watching this video a few more times and study the PDF file together. Our next lesson topic, formation of majhul or passive verbs in past and present tense, inshallah. One request before you go. Al-Quran Institute is a Quranic Dawa and educational institute. We would like to reach others like you. So if you benefited from this video, please share with others. But most importantly, please subscribe our channel and like the videos. Don't forget to watch other video series on Quranic Arabic course.
بارك الله فيكم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم آمين يا رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك